Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relation Guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below. And I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also, and I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new girls night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called, Oh, He's Talks period and if you never want to be played used or manipulated by a man ever 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 get in your life then make sure you pick up that ebook right there because it's fire okay and again link is in the description below also okay so all that's out the way and we're gonna jump right into this video and this video is titled how to make a man prove himself to you that he's serious about you right ladies so how do you make a man prove himself to you how do you make a man try to impress you and earn you and win you over right because a lot of women they have a problem with letting men so easily men come in and out your life so easily and it shouldn't be that a man can just show up and just because he handsome or he got a nice car just because you need a man and you're afraid of being alone you just latch on to whatever man come your way and you're just happy just a man just showing you some attention a lot of times right and I'm trying to teach you ladies that you have to make a man earn you when you give everything away so easy and for free you give your body away for free you give your money away for free you give your time away for free you give your emotional support away for free companionship for free you give everything you got your body your soul your mind you give it all easy for free and then you'd be so upset when you don't get the same in return. And a lot of times the reason why you don't get the same in return is because you was giving, giving, giving to that man and he got too comfortable and he kept taking, taking, taking. And then he sat back and he felt like, well, I don't have to give because this woman keeps giving to me. So regardless, if I give back into her, she's going to give back to me anyways, regardless of how I treat her, regardless of what I do. I didn't even earn this, right? Keep in mind, she just met me and she's already trying to cook and clean and give me her body whenever I want it. She want to come over and give me that kitty cat whenever I feel like it. So of course, I'm going to use that to my advantage because I know that she needs me and I know that she loved me and she liked me so much that she, she's willing to inconvenience herself and even if I do disrespect her or I don't never commit to her I never marry her I never you know be in a relationship with her she's still gonna give me everything for free right so if you always that free woman and you keep giving everything away for free what is valuable right you gotta ask yourself if if, if you're valuable Things that are of value are not for free, right? If you are a valuable woman, you don't give yourself away for free. You get something in return first before you giving. Think about giving something. But a lot of you women, you get it confused. Y'all giving, 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 and y'all don't even get nothing in return. So you got to hold off your giving. You got to hold back everything that you got and let the man come to you. Let him give to you and see what his moves are. The problem is you so busy, you trying to impress that man because you want that man so bad and you like him so much and you want him so bad that you want to do whatever for him. So he's going to use that to your advantage and you're chasing that man. You start chasing him and you didn't even give him a chance to even chase you. He don't even know if he like you or not, but he know for sure you like him. But he ain't made up his mind if he like you or not. And you didn't even give him a chance to. But now that you like him so much, 
He can sit back and he already know he's staying with you. He know he can have you wrapped around his finger that easy. Because you easy. You always around and stuff like that. So he don't take you seriously sometimes, right? Or you too easy and you too giving. And he take your kindness for weakness. So I'm going to teach you ladies how to make a man prove himself to you or earn you, right? You got to make a man earn you and prove himself to you. He don't get this for free. Ain't nothing over here for free. Nothing in life that's worth something is free. You got to put some more value on yourself and stop giving yourself away and stop selling yourself short. Stop selling yourself for less than what you're worth. If your price is a million dollars, don't settle for five dollars. <laughs> if your price is a million dollars, why are you settling for five dollar men? You got to go with a million dollar man. Stop settling. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make him earn you. Can't, can't just anybody get to me. He got to earn you. So ladies, I have five. Yes, I said five ways how you can make a man prove himself to you that he's serious about you and try to impress you, right? Here go five ways how you can make a man impress you, okay? So number one, the first way how you can make a man prove himself to you that he's serious about you and he really actually wants you is let him reach out first, right, ladies? So you gotta let him reach out first. The problem is a lot of y'all, when y'all meet a man, Y'all go head over heels for him. Y'all calling him. Y'all texting him. Y'all want to see him all the time. Y'all always double texting him. If he don't text you back, you feel some type of way. If he don't call you within a certain amount of time, if he don't call you all day, your whole day ruined. He didn't call me. You know, James, James didn't call me all day today. I don't appreciate the fact that James, he didn't call me all day today. You so worried about James, but James ain't worried about you. Because if James was worried about you, James would call you. He would be texting you. He would be trying to see you. The fact that he's not, and the fact that you're chasing him, that's the reason why. Because if he wanted to, he would have. If he wanted to call you, if he wanted to text you, if he wanted to see you, he would have done it. You don't have to force nothing. A lot of you women, y'all try to force it. You see this man not really all that interested in you. You see that man don't really care about you like that. You know what I'm saying? You see the signs. You see he not all the way sold on you. But you, you're trying to sell yourself to him. You're trying to be pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me woman, right? Like, hey, let me show you that I can cook. Let me show you I can clean. Let me show you I can give you my body whenever you want it. Let me show you I can do this. Let me show you I can do that. You know, that man's like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for trying to impress me. But his mind was already made up from the jump. He already knew what he wanted to do with you from the jump, whether you put in effort trying to impress him or not. So what you got to understand is you don't have to impress a man that already wants you. Men are visual. The first time he saw you, he already knew that he wanted you. When he first laid eyes on you, he already knew what category he wanted to place you with, right? He already knew if he wanted to make you he already knew if he wanted to put you in a sex zone or he wanted to make you a wipe zone, right? He already knew because y'all know the friend zone where the men don't even exist. So we're going to talk about the sex zone and or he wants you as a wife, right? Either he just wants your benefits and he just want to just, you know, use you and just have fun with you for the time being or he actually sees you as a wife because, you know, it's rare that a man actually wants you as a friend because, you know, I already made a video on that. Y'all already know. But but he already know from the, from the jump what he want to do with you. That's the point. So you don't have to ever try to prove yourself to him because he already know if he like you or not. You just got to let him show you that he like you. And sometimes you don't even give a chance, a man a chance to show you that he wants you because you're too busy wanting him. You're too busy calling him, texting him, wanting to see him. He didn't invite you nowhere. He didn't ask to take you out on no dates. He didn't call you today. He, he didn't text you today. So apparently James do not care. So if James do not care about you, why do you care about James? If James did not call you today, why are you worried about calling James today? If James did not think about you all day long and he let one day, two days, three days go by, he ain't thinking about you. You don't need to be thinking about him. You need to go on with your life. It's so sad that you sitting there by your phone waiting on a man to text you back. That's sad. That means you don't have no life. That means that your life revolves around a man. If you sitting at home and you upset that a man don't text you back and don't call you back within a certain amount of time and he not your boyfriend and he not your husband, you have no place to even worry about it. Why are you even worried about it? Y'all not even together. He don't want you. If he wanted you, he would be with you. And then if he's with you, then you can get mad and you can trip and you can have a problem with him not texting you back in an orderly fashion or at a, at a time being. 
But a lot of y'all, y'all get it confused. Y'all over here, y'all think that y'all together, but y'all not. He never gave you a title. And you over here catching all these feelings. And you over here, he, you think this your man. But guess what? Let He gonna do what he wanna do. That's why he do what he wanna do. Because he don't care about you. If he wanted to be with you, he would be with you. He don't wanna talk to you. Stop trying to reach out to him. You sitting there wor worried, sitting by your phone. You sitting there all day. James, did James text me? Okay, let me check an hour. You check your phone in an hour. James still ain't text me? Okay, let me check my phone again. I still ain't get no notifications. My phone ain't go off. He didn't text me all day long. You went through the whole day. James didn't text you back. Now your whole day ruined. What was you doing all day? You you should have been busy. As a woman, you should you should be too busy to even be worried about a man coming in and out. So if he texts you back, if he calls you back, who cares? You care too much. Who cares? He didn't text me back all day. He didn't call me today. He didn't, he not your man. Is, are you his girlfriend? Are you his wife? No. So stop tripping. He not your man? You crying and stuff like that? He not your man. If he want to call you, he will call you. If he want to text you, he will text you. If he want to see you, he will see you. You won't have to beg somebody to do something that they already want to do, right or wrong. You should never have to beg, and you will never have to beg nobody to do something if they already want to do it. If they already want to do it, then they're going to do it without you even asking. The fact that you even have to ask him to do anything for you, or the fact that you even are upset that he's not doing for you, that's your problem right there. Because if he wanted to, and then you expect him to, but you see that he's not. Because if he wanted to, he would have. See, you always want this man to reach out to you first. You want him to call you first. You want him to text you first. Because when you reach out first and you text him first, now he know where he's staying with you. Now he know, oh, this woman easy. This woman is super interested in me. I didn't text her all day. She calling me, texting me all day. Why would I call her? Why would I text her? If I know she always going to call me, always going to text me. Why would I try to go see her if I know she always gonna, just going to come over? Why would I take her out if she, I could always have her come over my house, right? You worried about, oh, this man don't never take me out. This man don't never call me. He don't never text me because he don't want to. If, if a man really wants to, then he going to show you. But you didn't even give him a chance to even show you because you too thirsty and you so desperate that you chasing up after him. If he don't call you, you blowing him up. Why you ain't call me back? Why you ain't text me back? Why? Uh, Calm down. He don't want you. Move on, right? And that's your fault for reaching out first and expecting him to like you the same way how you like him. And it's not like that. So allow him to come to you and then you can make your judgment and say, okay, does this man, is this man really serious about me or not based on how consistent he is with me, right? You don't even wait for the consistency part. You try to be consistent with him. You the one try to call him, hear from him every day. You the one that makes a conscious effort to hear from him every day. He don't care. If he if he don't hear from you all day, he don't care. You don't hear nothing from him. He not sitting by the phone worried about you. He out living his life. The same thing you should be doing. Out living your life. Is this man sitting sitting by the phone waiting for your text? He not sitting by the phone waiting for your phone calls. He out living his life doing him ain't even worried about you. But you sitting at home worried about him. How that sounds? He ain't worried about you, but you worried about him. Stop reaching out first. Let him reach out to you first. See what he want to do first. And just relax. If he wants you, he'll come to you. Let him come to you. Right? That's number one. Number two, the second way how you can make a man prove himself to you, if he's serious or not, is play hard to get. Right? So a lot of you women, y'all got to play hard to get. I don't know what happened in this generation. This 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 is like the easy generation. Y'all don't play hard to get. Back in the day, women used to play hard to get. Back in the day, women used to be like, mm, I don't know. You know, I'm a C. And, you know, kind of had all these little mystery. You know, I'll let you know. I'll see. You know, y'all just, yes, 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 yes. A man comes to you, you say, yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on. But you don't, but you, but you know, back in the day, when the man, when the man used to approach them, they used to be like, you know, I don't know, I see, I want to take my time. You know, you telling the man, you want to take your time. A lot of y'all women, y'all don't even tell men that you want to take your time. They tell you, they want to take their time with you. But you don't even tell them, hey, let me take my time with you. Let me play hard to get. Let me see. Let me, let me play and see if you really like me or not before I fully give myself to you. Y'all women, y'all fully give yourself to the man for free without him even putting anything into you. 
he didn't do nothing for you, but you so busy doing everything for him. So he get what he want, but you don't get what you want. Because you so easy. You got to play hard to get. It shouldn't be that easy to win you over. You so easy to be won over. He got a nice car, or he flashed some money, or he real tall, or he just handsome, and you just think he just the, the, the most gorgeous man on earth. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? You so easily won over. That's sad because it should take more than just good looks and a few hundred dollar bills to make you move or to make you jump. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that, that's all it take for you, that's all it take for you, you got to play hard to get. Don't be so available. Stop always. And even when this man do reach out, even when this man do, let's just say you did number one. Let's say you said number one, okay, I'm not going to reach out, right? Okay, Sid, the first one you said don't reach out. The second one you said play hard to get, right? So when you don't reach out and when you're playing hard to get, that means that even when this man does reach out to you and text you and call you and he's kind of consistent with you, right? He's hitting you up, you know, every day or every other day or, you know, it's pretty consistent, right, throughout the week. You still need to hold your ground and let him come to you. Don't just be thinking like, okay, I could just answer every single phone call. I could just text him back super fast. As soon as he texts me, I'm going to text him back really fast. As soon as he calls me, I'm answering. As soon as he want to see me, I'm available. Like, no, that's sad. You need to do something else with your life. That's probably the problem with you now. You got too much time on your hands. You sitting up here worried about a man that ain't worried about you. You got too much time on your hands. You need to be more busy to the point where you don't even have time to even be worried about a man because you out living your life. Instead of him living his life, you need to be living your life instead of worrying about what he doing because he sure ain't worried about what you doing. So you can't be so available. Stop being so available. Don't don't answer every time he call you. When he call you, let it be a mystery. Dang, is she going to answer? Is she not going to answer? Oh, she didn't answer me today. But you know what? She called me yesterday, but she I didn't hear from him today. So I don't know. You know, or, you know, she's going to text me. She texts me back fast now, but then she texts me back four, five hours later. I don't know what was she doing. Or she texts me back the whole next day. I texted her, but she texts me back the next day. You know, so this man never know he's staying with you. So you always want to remain a mystery. You never want a man to know, oh, I really, oh, she really, really liked me. Because sometimes when a man know that you really, really like him, he will really, really use you, right? So you always want to remain a mystery and let him prove himself to you and come to you, right? But just play hard to get, you know, be in and out. You know what I'm saying? You got to be in and out. You know, he see you when he see you. When he don't, he don't. But he should not be able to snap his finger and have you appear like you a genie in a bottle. It shouldn't be like that. It, he shouldn't be able to snap his finger and just have you just uh, appear. You know what I'm saying? Like, it shouldn't be like that. He should not have that much access to you. You don't even know this man, and he has not earned that yet from you. So stop being so easy and let him work to be able to even get you. Because you being too easy and you just giving yourself away for free, he don't even have to work for it. Give him something to work for, right? So that's number two. Number three, the third way how you can make a man prove himself to you and show that he's serious about you or not is do not sleep with him until he invests into you first, right? So don't be sleeping with this man, giving this man your body, opening your legs to this man, and he has not even earned that from you yet. He ain't took you out on one date yet. He ain't, he only talked to you on the phone, one phone conversation, and you already about to go over his house and just <laughs> open it wide open for him. And he ain't even earned it yet. This man looking at you like, you easy. You easy. You don't even realize it, but a lot of men look at y'all like, y'all easy. You know? Because it's so easy just to get you. You will sleep with me, and I don't even have to work for it. You give me your body. You got to understand that that's the number. That's one of the number one things that a man wants from you. That's one of the number one things is sex, is what a man wants from a woman, obviously, right? So if you know that's what he wants, why do you give him what he wants, but you have not even gotten what you wanted yet? You know how backwards that is? That's basically like your favorite fast food restaurant. Just saying, hey, here go, hey, here go a whole bunch of food. You ain't gotta pay us, right? Guess what? People gonna go crazy if you say, hey, free food. If your favorite restaurant say, hey, free food, you don't have to pay us. Guess what? Guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna be a whole bunch of people gonna be take, 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 take. And guess what? 
you gonna be you ain't you gonna be out of food. AKA you gonna feel like he they just took everything because they went crazy because you said, hey, free, free food for everybody. And now here come a whole bunch of people. They okay, I'm gonna get my free food. Yeah, you know. But then and then when they eat their free food and they leave and they didn't put nothing back into your business, now you hurt and you upset. You shouldn't have gave away no free food. You should have made those people pay for their food. And then when they pay for the food, now you can refund and reinvest into your business, right? But you kept giving, giving, giving. Now you don't have no food for your business, AKA, or for your restaurant, AKA, you kept giving, giving, giving to this man. And you say, hey, hey, free kitty cat for you. If you want it, I really like you. So I will give it, I'm gonna give you my body. I'm gonna spread my legs wide open for you. If you need me, come get me. You know what I'm saying? I really, really want you. You know what I'm saying? So this man like, okay, you're going to give me free food or free kitty cat. I'm going to take it. And when I get it and when I'm gone and you don't hear from me no more, that's the reason why a lot of men, they run through a lot of you women because you're too easy. That's the reason why he might smash you the first night and you do not hear nothing from this man no more. That's the reason why. That's the reason why first night he in and out. The first night he sleep with you that first night and the next day he, his phone off. He ain't heard, you ain't heard nothing from him. He dropped off the face of the earth. After he got what he wanted, he was gone. And then you sitting back wondering, oh, all these men, they just hit and quit. They don't even want nothing serious. They, all these men, all they want is sex. That's because all men are getting out of you is sex. You led with sex. You didn't give a man nothing else to think about other than sex because you kept giving him sex. So, of course, that's all he look at you as. You don't even realize it, but you kept giving him sex. You can't say, oh, all these men, they just want me to use me. They just want to use me for my body. You letting them use you for your body. You giving it up so easy. You open your legs to anybody that you like, any man that you find attractive. It's not hard to get in your drawers. If, if, if he's handsome or if he got a nice car, he got a nice, he got some money or you just find him attractive, he just do it for you. Oh, it's easy to get to you. You lose your mind over him. It's so easy to get to you. All he got to do is say hello, and you pulling your drawers down like, what's up? I'm ready. Easy. That's the reason why men do y'all the way they do y'all, because y'all don't have no self-respect for y'all self. I'm going to be honest with you. That's the reason why a lot of men run, running laps and running through all y'all. That's the reason why a lot of men, they jump from woman to woman to woman, because a lot of y'all women are easy to just run through. So y'all got to have more standards. Have a higher standard for yourself and stop letting men just come in and out your life or in and out of your body whenever they feel like it, right? Stop letting men run in and out your life and stop letting men run in and out your body whenever they feel like it. Your life and your body, right? It should not be that easy. He got to work for that, right? Make him take you out first. Make him invest into you first. He got to invest into you. He got to invest his time, right? His time and he got to invest his money, his money into you. Time and money, time and money. When he invests his time and his money into you enough over time, then he may have that privilege of having your kitty cat, right? Then he may, may, might have, have that opportunity to be able to have you in that intimate way. But you just give yourself away so easily. That's why he don't feel like it's worth nothing. Because a lot of y'all women, y'all say, oh, you know, I got I got good kitty cat. My kitty cat so good. You know, I keep it so fresh, so clean. It's so good. You know, every man, I ain't never had no complaints. Every man said I had a good kitty cat. My kitty cat so good down there, whatever, right? It ain't that good if everybody can get to it. It ain't that good if, if anybody can get to it for free. It ain't that good if you can have men running in and out of you. How is it that good? You send your kitty cat down there. Oh, it's so good. It's so this. It's so that. You know, whatever. It ain't worth that much if any man can have it, right? I'm just being honest with you. How valuable is it to you? How valuable is that in between your legs to you if you can just give it away for free? That, as a woman, that's one of the number one things that you have that you know that men are after. That probably is one of the number one ways, if not the number one thing that men come after when they first see a woman. Of course, he wants to be intimate with you. Of course, he wants to. But you be so easy and you want him so bad that you just give it up so easily it's for free. So make him work for it. Don't just be sleeping with men opening your legs for anybody. 
you know, or even just men that you like. You may say, Sid, I don't do it for everybody. Not everybody get to me. But guess what? The men that you like, you give it up. The men that you like, they get you on the first night. You set rules up for certain men. Certain men that may need to prove themselves to you a little more, you don't sleep with them. If it's a man that you like, uh, I don't really know about him, whatever. You know, it's a man that you like, he kind of cute or he kind of attractive or, you know, I like him a little bit, but I'm not all the way sold on him yet. Like, he cool. I, I like being around him and stuff, but I don't really know about him all the way just yet. Right? And you make him prove himself to you. For the men that you don't really like like that, you let them prove themselves to you. Take you out, do this, do that. And then over time, you're like, oh, he kind of cool. Hey, I, I didn't like you at first, but, you know, you kind of cool. You know, but then for the men that you actually want, the men that you go head over heels for, the men that you look at him and you like, he is so whatever. You know, you, you think he's just the finest thing, whatever. You know what I'm saying? When you see those type of men, that tall, whatever man, whatever preference men you like, you lose your mind when you see him. And you, and you may not give it to everybody, but the men that you like, you very selective on who you do give it to. And when you do give it, you give it easy. As soon as you like a man, and when you like him, oh, it's over with. As soon as you find him attractive, oh, he, he, can, he can have you. Easy. He can have you. It might not be everybody, but for sure, those men that you, those men that you find attractive, you let them come in easy, right? So you can't be so easy. So that's number three. Number four, the fourth way how you can make a man prove himself to you that he's serious or not about you is do not chase him, let him go, right? So y'all got to stop chasing the man. And like I said, chasing is calling, texting, wanting to see him, blowing him up, double texting him, triple texting him, always wondering what he doing, where he at, who he doing it with, what's going on. You stressing yourself out over a man that don't care nothing about you. That's sad. He not stressing out over you. He living his life and you over here going crazy like I don't know what to do, right? You got to stop trying to force yourself on a man. A lot of y'all women, y'all be forcing yourself on him. Y'all be pick me, pick me, pick me. Look at me. Look at me. Look look what I can do. Look at all these tricks and everything I can do. You become like a dancing clown trying to show him all your tricks and all your moves like this the circus. He don't care nothing about that. He just going to use you. That's it. You trying to dance around, let me do this. I can cook for you, I can clean for you, I can give you my body, I can give you this, I can give you that, whatever you need. Did he earn it? Did he work for it? No, he did not. He didn't earn that. You sitting here chasing him and the only reason why you go out out your way for him, you go out out your way for him because you want to love bomb him because you want him to like you. So you're like, okay, you as a woman, you know you like him, but you don't know if he like you back. So you say, okay, I know I like him. So let me show this man that I like him so that he can so that he can be impressed by my wifely duties and wifely benefits. And then that's going to make him like me. And now we're going to be together. But no, it does not happen like that, ladies. If a man already wanted you, he will come to you. You will never have to come to him. So I know that you like him, but make sure that he likes you back. And that means that don't go find out and run over to him and go see if he like you. That means stay where you at and let him come to you and show you. That's what I'm saying, right? Let him come to you. Let him show up to you. Stay still. Be still. Stop tripping. Stop going all out your way. Stop calling. Stop texting. Just stop. Everything you're doing, if you want to know what to do, don't do nothing at all. Just stop and see what he do. Don't call him. Don't text him. Don't worry if he going to see you, if he going to text you today, if he going to call you today. Stop. Just relax, chill, sit back, and see what he do. And then that's going to tell you everything you need to know about a man. Sometimes everything you need to know about a man, you'll see it if you would just let him do it. You don't even let him show you if he's serious or not. You don't even know if he's serious or not. But guess what? He know that you're serious. So now that he know that you serious, now he can use you. But you never know how he feel about him, how he feels about you. So that's your fault. You got to do some more background searching and make sure that he like you before you know that you like him, right? So that's number four. Number five, the fifth and last and final way 
how you can make a man prove himself to you that he is worthy enough to have you is love yourself more than a man right so when you love yourself more than you love a man that is what's going to make that man prove himself to you Be let me explain the fact that you love yourself so much that mean that when you love yourself that means you're not going to tolerate certain things right when you're not going to tolerate certain things that means that you set boundaries because you love yourself and you respect yourself so it's going to be some boundaries right when you have boundaries that means that you hold that man accountable right when you hold that man accountable that means that that man knows what he can and cannot get away with right when that man knows what he can and cannot get away with he knows that now he has no choice but to respect you when a man has no choice but to respect you now he can fully love you because you loved yourself there you go. I just broke down the whole equation right there. When you love yourself and respect yourself, that's going to make him have no choice but to love you and respect you because you're not finna tolerate his mess. You're not finna let certain things slide. So he know not to play with you and he hold you up more valuable because he know that you're not finna tolerate or play with him. So he know that you must be valuable if if you have qualifications and requirements, because if you just let him run all over you, like you been letting him do, now he know that you are less valuable. Now he know you don't have no value at all if I can use you and run all over you. You don't have no value, but I know you have value if you put me in my place and I know you will leave me at any given time. See, the problem is a lot of you women, y'all so afraid of that man leaving you that you willing to do whatever for him. But when you love yourself, you don't care whether that man come or go or whether that man don't want you or want you or whatever. You sit still. If you know, if you love yourself, you're not going to trip over if he call you or text you today. You like, my life gonna be good with or without a man. I'm not tripping over no man. So if he want me, come get me. If not, I'm okay. I still love myself. I don't need his validation. I don't need his love. Bye. If you don't like me, that's your problem. Bye. But a lot of you women, y'all don't. Y'all chasing him after this man because you need a man to complete you. That's the reason why you keep chasing him after this man because you need him to complete you. You need him to make you whole as a woman because you don't have no identity outside of a man. So you're using him. If you will just learn how to set boundaries and learn how to say no and learn how to, you know, make him appreciate the woman that you are, now he knows that you're valuable. When a man knows that, he, that you're valuable, he knows he can't play with you. And now he has no choice but to respect you and he can't disrespect you because you're not going to allow him to disrespect you. So now he can only respect you. He can only love you. He can only treat you right. So that's how you make a man treat you right by not letting him treat you wrong. <laughs> there you go you make a man treat you right by not allowing him to treat you wrong I, man i need to write another book i think i'm gonna write another book like i'm going like I, I don't know where i'll be coming up with this stuff but for real like that's really how it gotta be like y'all really gotta take y'all time with these men stop allowing a man to come in and out your life again like over and over and over again Stop giving your body away, your time, your money. He did not invest nothing into you. He didn't invest not one dollar into you. He did not invest no time into you, nothing. He just got everything for free. And then you get mad when he run off with everything and he don't care nothing about you because you just gave everything away for free. How valuable are you if I got everything away, everything you got for free, right? Things that are valuable are not for free. Is a Lamborghini, is a Bentley, is a Ferrari, is a, a G-Wagon, is any of those cars, are they for free? No, they're not for free. You cannot go get a Rolls Royce for free. You can't. And a lot of times you got to be a certain type of person and have a certain type of credit score and have a certain type of history and background to even be able to afford a car like that. Not everybody can just pull up to a Lamborghini dealership and just pick out a Lamborghini. No. Or pick out a Bentley. No. You have to be a certain type of person. You have to have certain requirements. They don't even just let anybody in the club. Right or wrong. In the club. They don't just let anybody in. You got to be. Sometimes you got to be dressed a certain type of way. You got to be a certain type of person. Or VIP. Especially. You got to be a certain type of person to be in the VIP. Not everybody just get in. 
right? Not even the club let everybody in. So why do you let everybody in you? The club don't even let everybody in. So why you let everybody in you? You know what I'm saying? Have some higher qualities and requirements and standards for yourself, ladies. That's all I'm saying. Raise your standards, raise your price, and tax your price. How about that? And let a man show you that he wants you instead of you chasing the back to him. Stop chasing the man and let him come to you, right? So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was my top five ways how you can make a man prove himself to you and prove that he actually want to be with you or not. And hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification, and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.